It is a persistent problem in our area, violent crimes resulting in young lives lost. Now only on 10, one local police chief is raising concerns after another teen's life is taken and unfortunately, it's likely not the last one. Good evening. A lot of people are in agreement that crime is a problem in our area. And few have found the perfect solution to stop gun violence, but tonight, Norfolk's police chief is making a plea to the public. His message came after Tuesday morning's shooting of 18-year-old Anthony Sinclair at the Days Inn on North Military Highway. Hours later, the chief took to social media and the city's website, demanding that the community step up and do its part. And tonight, only on 10, he's echoing that message to Andy Fox. Andy? Anita and Tom, Police Chief L.D. Boone says on a scale of 1 to 10, our gang problem in Norfolk is a 2. But consider this statistic. 21 homicides this year, 14 gang related. 66% involve gangs. LD Boone, a strong linebacker in college, big number 50, says he's the first Norfolk police chief to grow up in public housing, which he did right here in New Jersey. In this statement released to the public following the homicide of well known rapper Anthony Sinclair, Chief Boone writes, We must change what appears to be a revolving door of crime and violence in too many African American communities. And there's a lot of social ills in some of our underserved challenge communities that, um, quite frankly, add to those issues. Until we give individuals opportunities of hope, we're going to continue to deal with this. Boone says we need to fix a generation becoming immune to violence and too many who have too short a memory. He writes, what once was a waterfall of firsthand testimony turns into recanted tales, faded memories, and retracted witness statements. When you just want the information, where do we go Absolutely. to connect A, B, and C? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's happening, Andy. I don't want to give you the impression that nobody talks. That's not accurate. We have folks that will give us information all the time. And finally, he pleads to the community, I urge you to get involved in your child's life, recognize the signs of criminal behavior or the cries for help, and take action before it's too late. Their eye, okay, may not be where it needs to be with respect to their child. And if that's the case, the streets are going to take over. They're going to influence what your child thinks. The end of Boone's statement reads, the age of tolerance and silence has to end. As a community, we have to invest in our youth to create positive opportunities of hope for their future and the generation to come. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. All right, Andy, thank you. And of course, you can keep an eye on crime problems in Norfolk or any other community in Hampton Roads by logging on to the local news page of wavy.com.